and welcome back to the Sacred Jewel. My name is Jewel and we are a spiritual community growing together while on our sacred journeys. So today, upon request, we are going to go deep into information and history about the reptilians, specifically draconians, and how they relate to the Anunnaki starseeds. So this whole video was inspired by one of you beautiful, lovely people requesting to talk more in depth about my previous um, reptilian video where I talked about the good and the bad, uh, mainly the good, not really the bad because there's a lot of bad things out there about reptilians, but the previous video talked about all the good things about one if you aligned with them with my um, Starseed origin video. So they requested to go more in depth about the good and the bad, and they said that they are a Anunnaki starseed, a hybrid. So I didn't know what that was, which led me to my research, and I was going to talk more about the good and the bad, um, like they wanted, but upon research about the Anunnaki, which hopefully I'm saying it correct, <laughs> I discovered I wanted to get more answers of what I mentioned in the reptilian video like you know they did something bad and the good reptilians are here to bring light to what they did and tell everybody all the bad things they did and you know expose them that's your purpose as a good reptilian um, and to raise your own vibration and get out of that negative mindset if you align with them but I didn't really know what did they do that was so bad but I kept saying if you are one you should you'll know if you don't know um, your soul knows and that's why things are the way they are but I wanted to get specific answers offline or from previous channelers or any you know information I could find to try to discover what they did and that's what led me to go down the deep 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 rabbit hole of aliens star seeds and the Onaki and how earth started to be inhabited so we're gonna go into that it's gonna be a long video so grab a drink or something <laughs> but the main thing you're gonna need is an open mind so if you're new here welcome I live and travel in an RV I'm currently in Washington I live with my boyfriend and my dog and we work at RV parks seasonally that's why we can stay there most of the time for free or very cheap rent so we are in Washington in the winter and then in May who knows where we're going next <laughs> so if you like spirituality and you want to help um, everybody grow you want to comment below questions similarities things on your mind and hopefully we can grow together spiritually then subscribe to help do that <laughs> Okay, so I do want to say there are a lot of videos out there that talk about reptilians, um, you know, traits if you are one, and stuff like that. So you can go research on your own more about them, but this is going to go more into the history. But I do want to say I did align with a reptilian in my starseed origin. Um, and then the other day, I found this little dragon. <sighs> Isn't he so cute? I found him when we were working at the RV park. So he lives on my altar right back there on the shelf and I am trying to represent the, you know, Game of Thrones, Darner Darnerys, Targaryen, Mother of Dragons, Khaleesi hairstyle today to support the topic of reptilians, draconian, dragon energy. So let's begin. I took a lot of notes guys, so it's going to be a lot of reading because I can't remember all this stuff. So, let's start about what are the Anunnaki. I believe, please correct me if I'm wrong, that they are 50% hybrid and then 50% reptilian from the planet Nubiru, which I probably am saying that wrong too. Nibiru. <laughs> so, Nibiru, which got me on a whole nother research, is also called the 12th planet or planet X. And... If you look into this, this is back in 2012, remember when they said the world was going to die, or the world was going to die, we were all going to die, that was because of this 12th planet, past Pluto, was going to crash into us and kill all of us. So this is coming back up again and like trending and I'm talking about it, so I don't know. You can look into that, that's a whole nother topic, but this is where the Anunnaki came from and they say that their planet 
collided with another planet in our solar system, which was called Maldek, Maldik, I'll put the name here, which created Earth. So by their planet and this other planet, Maldek, colliding is what created planet Earth. I just saw that online, so I thought I would share. <laughs> so let's keep going. It's said that the Anunnaki are the ones who originally uh, colonized Earth. So we're going to go into that. So what they wanted to do, they decided to go to Earth with the intention of mining gold. So after it was created by the planets colliding, they wanted to go to Earth, be the first ones there to find gold and minerals and to start a small idealistic colony on Earth, which is now known as or they're called the Sumerians. So this is all new stuff I'm reading about, but there's a lot of videos out there and you probably know all this stuff too, but I'm just sharing the info I found <laughs> in my casual laid back demeanor that's hopefully easily understandable by you guys. <laughs> so they're, they're saying they started that colony of the Sumerians. Okay, so on the way to Earth, they colonized planets along the way, including which are in the Orion solar system in the need of a workforce. So not in the Orion solar system on the way to earth, they started creating beings to help them when they get to earth because they're going to need people to help, you know, get my, get the gold and mining. So through genetic manipulation and vitro, vitro fertilization, they upgraded the genus of Homo to sapien quality. So that's basically saying when Earth was created, I don't want to talk about how the Homo genius got there. <laughs> that's another topic, I guess. But they're saying that the Anunnaki starseeds went there and through fertilization and, you know, playing around with the genetics, they upgraded the monkeys to become human sapiens homo sapiens <laughs> okay so then they want to say we have inherited inherited their culture of violence and vengeance in our dna on our engineer dna since they're saying they created that colony and draconians reptilians they're all about you know taking over land and all this stuff but let's get to that first okay so they have influenced every aspect of human life for example i thought this was pretty cool um since they helped you know, colonize some other Orion colonies. The Orions went on to teach Native Americans and Egyptians. The Palladians taught the Northern people. Reptilians taught Mayans. Arcturians taught the Hindu societies. And the Aridarians, Iridarians, I still can't pronounce that, and somebody told me how. This is a planet I'm from, which I've confirmed. If you look at my previous video that I just recorded today, I'll link it above. It tells you how to read both of your charts together to narrow down your true home planet. And that is how I discovered I'm from Iridanian Epsilon. I can't even say my home planet. How embarrassing. <laughs> but they advanced the Spanish people, which I thought was very weird because I am half Cuban. <laughs> okay, so let's continue. It appears that their mode of operation is to leave primitive species such as humanity to flourish on planet's surface while more advanced race, races such as reptilians form a kind of planetary management team to harvest humanity in a way that serves the long-term interests of the Onaki, Anunnaki who return periodically to assess their human experience. You might have to rewind that to, to listen to it again and soak it in. But we're, let me just read you the notes and then we will talk about this. <laughs> so the Anunnaki have a relationship, relationship with the Earth-based reptilians and draconians. This is how they all connect, okay? Where they made an agreement of how Earth will be managed. It's likely there are Anunnaki members, Anunnaki members, who have secretly remained on Earth and played a role in the creation of the elite group organizations to manage human affairs and Earth resources. So that's where you hear about, you know, the reptilians being in charge of the, of the government and doing all this evil stuff and they're hiding all these things from us. Well, they're saying that Anunnaki has a part in that. <laughs> so 
these agreements and or secret control of human elite groups indirectly make the Anunnaki a part of the military, industrial, extraterrestrial complex. So area, you know, <laughs> where they're hiding all this proof of, you know, aliens and stuff. I'm just guessing. This is just from online searching around. <laughs> So the Anunnaki are major players in human affairs, and this is likely to become more significant as their home planet, Nibiru, returns to the vicinity of the Earth. Because you can look into their home planet, here's the name again, and see like the closer it orbits to Earth is when there's going to be more interaction. And I should have, maybe I will add, I'll look up the last time it was nearby and when it's supposed to be nearby again. Because that's when you, there should be more activity or something to happen. <laughs> the main activities of the Unanaki are to influence human evolution through the elite group systems and institutions and by influencing human con consciousness. consciousness. <laughs> they appear to be in competition with the Draconians for control of the Earth. So here we go. How do they connect? The Reptilians and, Gr and Draconians establish themselves in the Draco and Orion constellations. So that's where they're from, those regions. And then they sent out to conquer the worlds. There, there are many reptilian draconian hybrids and mixes, including Alpha Draconis, serpent race from Sirius, Sirius reptilians, which are half human, half fish, so where mermaids and mermen come from, Vampurian or Vampura, Vampuria, reptilian hybrids which suck the life force out of humans so the energy out of humans so a lot of reptilians do that and if you like vampire energy suckers you know the spiritual community talks about that like if you're around someone who doesn't know they're doing that or who might be that sort of reptilian they're sucking your life force and energy out of you without them or you even knowing until you leave them or when you're talking to them you feel drained so reptilians are alien beings that consume the negative energies and fear throughout the universe. They need the di digestion of negative energies to survive. Probably why they travel to other planets to do this and why Earth is perfect for them because we are, tra we are ascending and raising our consciousness to no longer have fear and, and negative energies for them to eat. So I'll repeat that. <laughs> so probably why the reptilians wanted to come here is we are so known as fear-based people and the government and control and scaring us and a lot of people still watch the news and all this stuff and they're afraid of germs and sicknesses and everything and the more you're afraid the more the reptilians can stay around and thrive because they're just feeding off your negative energy and fear so here's a side note um the Reptilians created the slave race of the gray aliens by like, you know, you know, having SCX <laughs> and creating other beings by cross DNA. Um, so this great, the gray aliens, which are harmless reptilian hybrids, including the Altairs, I think that's how you say it, which created the crystal grid of earth. So I really want to do a video just about the Altairs and the crystal grid and the grid around the earth. I think that would be fun to research and share, <laughs> which I'm sure there's stuff out there, but I don't know, let me know in the comments. So several sources claim that Draconians are the original inhabitants of earth and were driven from the planet by the Anunnaki and then headed for the Draco, Draco star system. That's their home, home planet. So, the reptilians, they use this fact to justify their attempt to retake over the Earth for their own. Maybe this is when the agreement took place, as mentioned previously. So maybe after the planets collided and created Earth based on this, the research, <laughs> um, the reptilians were already out in the universe trying to conquer all the planets and they discovered earth maybe they got there first and then the Anunnaki came and colonized it saw the reptilian draconians and said you guys gotta leave we're gonna be here to do this with the humans and we need the mining let's have an agreement that you can come back later manage the humans that we created and you but then watch listen listen Linda <laughs> 
So it is said that the Dracon Draconic Draconian race created the dinosaurs because that's where you get the reptiles and dinosaurs. Um, then it was agreed by universal councils that there was time for new life to blossom on Earth, but that reptiles could remain in smaller forms. And they say birds are still like the main, the original form of dinosaurs. But I'm sure a lot of the big birds have been shrunken down too. <laughs> okay, so once humans evolved in sentience, sentience and awareness, a reptilian race became involved in enslaving, enslaving human beings to do their bidding, and there was genetic mixing that occurred without permission from the guardians of the earth. So this is where I think we find the answers of what the bad things the reptilians were doing, and while, you know, way back in the years before taking over, trying to take over earth through the government, <laughs> is you know, crossbreeding DNA when they weren't supposed to. And it even does, I wasn't inc gonna include it, but it talks about doing it against the human race's will or without them knowing. And they say this still happens in the astral realm or in dreams. So you have to be careful what you're doing out there when your body's asleep and your soul is awake. <laughs> So the race and other reptilian beings are trying to rectify this mistake now. So letting them crossbreed and expand the reptilian seed. <laughs> Earth humans still have reptilian DNA, but it is hoped that the positive aspects of this can be strengthened in their race. So there are a lot of positive things about being reptilian, which I went over in the last video. So you can check it out if you like. I'll put it up there again. <laughs> so how does this all connect? We are coming to the end of this research in-depth woo-woo video that I hope you're enjoying so far. <laughs> so it seems that the Anunnaki purpose on Earth is to continue to use our resources, right? To get all the minerals, get all the gold, and the draconian reptilians to continue to feed off of our negative energies. While both the Unaki and reptilian draconians to manage Earth to continue its survival, to keep pursuing this purpose, while continuing to mix races to ensure their race lives on. That's what I'm getting out of this. <laughs> and then I had this huge, probably really weird connection between all of this. So if it's said that the reptilians and draconians rule our government and are in the control of making all the decisions to manage, you know, the whole world, <laughs> you know, all the people in charge, then, and if the Anunnaki created the Sumerians, which took place in Mesopotamia, which is now called Iraq, is where I Iraq is located, then were they back in the day in all the wars with Iraq? Was that them trying, like, in, com in competition to take over, you know, this, you know, the United States or the world? Was that them fighting back then, you know, in control of causing all of that makes you wonder doesn't it <laughs> so that was like everything I got from my research and it seems a little bit all over the place but there was a lot of info to get out there to you guys about the topic <laughs> so I don't know if this is what the special person who requested more in depth if this is what you were looking for because there are similar things out there about everything I just talked about but maybe it did help a little bit. You already know all the good things that you can be doing as a reptilian. Everyone knows all the bad things, but this is a little bit more in depth with the history and hopefully that was fun for you guys. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I think the next video, um, going in order of the request will either be a card reading. Ooh, I haven't done that in a while or oops. Sorry, one moment. Or it's going to be, oh yeah, it's going to be either a card reading or where we use your birth chart to determine the markings of your psychic abilities and maybe some hidden talents that you have that you don't know you have. So how to locate those degrees and how to do it yourself in a chart without having to pay someone. You can pay someone, of course. I'm not saying don't spend money on people who, you know, have done this for years and years. But if you want to try out a free one or you want to 
learn yourself, then that will be one of the next coming videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and see you next time. Bye.